don't know if you remember last time I was in there. Uh, I was getting booed, but I remember looking down that camera and saying, everyone back home in Australia, I can see you, I can hear you. Yeah! That got me through. I was saying, let them boo. But uh, the support now, uh, obviously can hear you now. Uh, and uh, thank you again for the support. Yeah! 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 for you, Alex. I hear there's a man in town who's looking to take that number one spot. How do you feel about that? Yeah, well, it's uh, a part of uh, that position, you know what I mean? Everyone wants to take uh, either your belt or the pound for pound number one spot, so it's pretty cool, but I'm coming for his lightweight belt, so that's, that's what he's going to watch out for. You fought here in Perth before, what were your memories? Yeah, I fought here, I think it was five years ago. Last time we are here, and just like this, the support has always been incredible. Uh, so, uh, very thankful again to have the athletes, uh, Australian athletes, be able to fight here in Australia with a crowd like this. As I've been saying all week, the, the fighters deserve it, I deserve it, I deserve to fight in front of a home crowd, and the Aussie fans deserve to have a UFC event here. Yeah! Hey, you are the pound for pound number one on the planet, but you pushed yourself this camp to another level. You were telling us earlier on, but share with these guys the kind of performance they can get excited for. Every time, mate, we always say we level up. Uh, is that a, what I say, underdog mentality, you know what I mean? Uh, how we all are, we always work hard, especially here in Australia. Down under, we make sure we do what we've got to do, and I'm always raising the bar every single time. I put that work on in that gym, and uh, again, just uh, remember, while I'm out there doing my thing, when I get my hand raised, obviously I'm going to hear you, but I'm going to feel you, yeah? Definitely. Or it means your legacy to get that second belt. Oh, mate, it doesn't uh, really get much bigger than that. You know, we've obviously been a champ and defending and uh, being pound for pound, incredible. But again, I am been pound for pound number one, but um, I'm going to show you as why I'm there as well, yeah? You know, uh, the heavyweight! The heavyweight <laughs> And before I let you get, before I let you get out on feet, you said something really poignant earlier to me, and that was how people should challenge themselves. You're going up, you're putting yourself out of your comfort zone, but there was a message in that for everyone. Well, that's it, that's exactly right. And that's something that I, I do want to always sit there and try and uh, you know, give the right messages out there. And uh, you know, I've always uh, said, you know, I'm on the other side and all that type of stuff, I'm moving up. Yeah, this is a challenge. I love a challenge. I think we should all challenge ourselves. It makes you better, trust me. I'm twice the man I was before this camp. I'm twice the fighter I am. I was, and uh, you're going to see that Sunday when I take that lightweight belt. Let's go! How does it end? How does it end? I'm feeling, uh, hey, we need to capitalise on the feet. I've been saying it. He's going to want to get me down. I ain't going to let it happen. I'm going to put these hands to the chin. I reckon we're getting a finish. Let's go. Especially with my home crowd. I'm looking for that finish. Yes, yes, yes.